Hello everybody, how you doing today? My name is Nick and welcome to my channel, a place to watch and talk about movies. In this movie action, it is Seabiscuit. My intro got deleted. I don't know why this keeps happening to me. <laughs> Lots of my intros keep getting deleted for some reason. I hope you guys enjoyed this reaction. As you guys can probably tell from my eyes, you know, I was a little bit emotional, but I just finished watching the movie and I hopefully you guys enjoyed this reaction, but let's just get into it. Seabiscuit. I'm not 100% sure, but I'm pretty sure the top tier patron did tell me this was uh, based on true story. Henry Ford himself called it a car for the great multitude. Oh, is this about cars? You could learn to drive it in less than a day. You could get any color you wanted, so long as it was black. Within five years, he was turning out a vehicle every 90 seconds. Pretty soon, other businesses had borrowed the same technique. I actually love how they're using these real images. Seamstresses became button sewers. It was the beginning and the end of imagination. Charles, this takes place in 1910. Charles, I'm talking to you. Mm -hmm. They need spoke, same as the others. Gosh, it's just so beautiful, that land available. Oh wow, the score. Oh wow. <laughs> oh, why are you trying to catch them? You don't want to let them roam free? The country was shrinking, and there was life to be made out west. Is that a camera? Oh, it's basically a very small locomotive. Oh, that's Thank Jeff you. Bridges, now, isn't it? I made uh, I made some improvements. It wasn't your boiler that was. I was like, I so recognized him. I was just waiting to see until like I knew. <laughs> but okay, so that's Jeff Bridges, right? The thing of it is, Mr. Coughlin, you don't feed it, you don't stable it, and unless you hit a lamppost, the thing's not going to get sick and die on you. <laughs> <laughs> oh, so so that's why you changed from like bicycles to cars. <laughs> This is not the finish line, my friends. This is the start of the race. Oh, so is this about like car racing? It's the very same car that you can buy at any one of our five showrooms all across the Bay Area. The age of the automobile is here, boasted Howard. Oh, 100 miles in less than three days. That's the record? Really? That's how slow they went? Oh, she's in this too. Oh, I love her. <laughs> I've seen her in a couple things. Are you the future? <laughs> Are you gonna, are you going to the moon? <gasps> I'll take it. Do we really need all this? Some very nice stables. Oh, so he's just gonna replace all the stables with his like car collection. Whoa. Oh, he's trying to make the horse like his? Like not be afraid of him? You're not getting him a horse. Why not? He's great at it. Because he's 16 years old. Him, he's in this. Really? They actually have a lot of actors. The only one I knew was Tobey Maguire. Thank you, thank you for coming. I came here 15 years ago with 21 cents in my pocket. To be honest, I am so confused about like what this movie's about. <laughs> like, I, I don't know. It seems it seems like it's kind of just like random things are happening, but I'm assuming it's all for a setup. Oh, the market. There were no suicides on Wall Street that day. Over the next two weeks, the hemorrhage continued. 25% of the workforce was unemployed. A great national migration began. I actually do love how they switch between like real life and the documentary. <laughs> like I actually love how they're including like real images here. Millions of Americans had a new definition of home. You made $2 today. What? Where did you get that? Oh, was he horse racing? He's on attack. I didn't have to tell him a thing. That actually seems really fun. <laughs> like just the horse racing. Oh, 
Oh, wait, did he not actually race? I thought he was an actual... Oh, so he just bet on the right horse. Okay. Oh, why is he crying? Because he wants to be able to be like that? Like, that's what he wants to do? What's that? Everything. What are, what are you doing? Mr. Blodgett here, he, he has a house and his wife cooks. She is a good cook. We'll Shh. call you. Every couple of weeks we'll call you Why? and we'll tell you where we no. are. We just gotta go home, all right? You have a gift. Oh, so then he can do his horse riding? We'll be back. It's so sad. You're really just gonna take him away from his whole family? Oh, okay, don't, don't go in there. Oh, six years later? I guess he's now adjusted to being with them. Isn't he old enough that we can like go back with his family now? I don't know, you still look pretty tall to be a jack. I've never been over 115. Oh, so that's him now. All right, here's the way it works. So is this about like a horse rider? You owe $9 for your meal, $6 to sleep in the stalls. How'd I pay all that back? Yeah. <laughs> you win. Oh, okay, so he has to win. <laughs> he has to win. Yes! Wait, can you do that? Yes! That's actually so wrong. It's not cheating. Come on, Toby, go, go, go. Yes. Oh, <laughs> he's gonna win, isn't he? I actually thought he was gonna lose a couple. Oh, my. Stop hitting him. Yes. <laughs> yeah, get rid of that. Oh, no. A nose? A nose. Christ. The other guy was rooting it for him, though. He was trying to hit him. Bill, we'll be fine. Really? We will. Why don't, why don't you go fishing or something? I'm reading. You can read when it's raining. We'll be in San Francisco till Wednesday. Oh, wait, so are they just leaving him by himself? <laughs> I thought the kid was like 13 or something. I guess actually back in 1910, you could probably drive him when you were like 12. The landscapes in this movie are actually just so beautiful, though. Hey, watch out, watch out. He just died? This movie's starting out so sad. <laughs> like, this movie is actually pretty sad already. That is awful. <laughs> oh, is that his dad? Come inside. I'm not done. Sam can do that. She's leaving? time when the world really needed a drink, you couldn't get one in the United States of America. Oh, you couldn't get a drink there? Oh, really? We're scarce and there's just so much a that human being crazy. could do without. I never knew that was actually a thing. Soon, the border town was born. The chance to turn bad luck into good. Oh, 
Well, so for horse racing and stuff, they were only in New Mexico. Who's that? That's Charles Howard. Yeah. I thought he came down here for a quickie divorce. Nothing quick about that. It was in the palace. Why do you need to lose weight, Sultan. though? He looks at me and says, John, John Pollard, Pollard, you <laughs> are my greatest jockey. You're the favorite. Even money. Ah, get it. Two to one. All right, you got it. Oh, no, he's in last place. How long did they go on for? I'm sorry, I'm very, like, not educated well in horse racing or anything. Don't. I'll take it. Aw, oh, he likes him. Oh wait, did he end up losing the race? So he's like a little bit like crazy about that. So what, they brought you down here to make you feel better, is that it? Nice to meet you, Charles. Mucho gusto. Why is he still fighting? I don't get it. Like, is it to make more money? Because he's not winning like with horse racing? I feel like that's what it has to be. Easy. 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 I'm fine, Easy. I'm fine. Come on, let me buy you some toys. I'm fine, so. George. It's been 20 years since I've been on a horse. Don't worry. It's the kind of thing that comes right back. <laughs> oh, is he actually gonna do horse riding? Horse racing, sorry. Come on! <laughs> that's Rachel McAdams from the notebook. Oh, that's where she's from. Oh, so now they're gonna be together. <laughs> that's actually so sweet. <laughs> Especially with everything that's gone on with his life. It's like it's constantly bad thing after bad thing. I want to win. What sort of question is that? Well, you're going to need a trainer before you buy horses. No, you need two. Toby McGuire. Oh, please tell me he's going to be the person that he picks. That'd be amazing. <laughs> he just gets to work with all of his horses. <laughs> Trains about 50 or 60 ponies. Good fella, too. Real horse puss. Real horse shit. Let's go see. Charles Howard. Tom Smith. Nice to meet you, Tom. Will he get better? Already is. Little. Will he race? Not that one. Cart horse or a lead pony. He's still nice to look at. <laughs> You want something that's not gonna run from a fight. How do you find that? Yeah, how do you? <laughs> how do you know from a horse? <laughs> I won the Robles Handicap. I was second in the Tijuana Derby. I won the Manzanita Oaks. Oh, Oaks. come on, please. They're setting it up where like he so needs someone like him. Down on me. Sounds great, we'll let you know. Look, I can work him out in the morning. Go up to a plow, pull me around for a little <clears throat> while. Come on. Probably the fastest you're gonna run in your entire life, you piece of shit old pot. <laughs> That's right. The first time he saw Sea Biscuit, the colt was walking through the fog at five in the morning. Oh, so is that gonna be like the good? Yeah, that's gonna be like the prize horse, right? What the hell are you looking at? Who do you think you are? Well, that's actually funny that that was the one Tony McGuire was just insulting so much. <laughs> that's so great. He's actually going to be like the best horse, isn't he? He was the son of Hardtack, sired by the mighty man of war. But the breeding did little to impress anyone at Claiborne Farms. Get rid of him. Oh, so no one wanted him? <laughs> at six months, he was shipped off to train with a legendary trainer. Oh, just taken away from his mom. Oh, that is so sad. 
Though half the size of other colts, Seabiscuit could frequently eat twice as much. I want you to hit him as many times as you can over a quarter of a mile. When he didn't improve, they decided the colt was incorrigible. That is awful. Training partner to better horses, forcing him to lose head-to-head -head duels to boost the confidence of the other animal. Champions were large. They were sleek. They were without imperfection. What exactly is it you like? Got spirit. Yeah, I got it. <laughs> no, really. I'm fine. He's going to walk out, yeah. He's going to be like, no, I can't handle him. <laughs> Uh. Jesus Christ! This horse is nuts. Yeah, just just like that, he's gone. So Tom McGuire is gonna be able to train him, isn't he? Go, come on, you stupid bitches! I'll take all of you. Come on, come on! <laughs> <laughs> know what you're all about. Come on, boy. Oh, he doesn't like it. <laughs> he doesn't like the apple. <laughs> Why don't you just breeze him around one turn, give the folks a look. Great. Hello? <laughs> yeah, don't get too close to him. <laughs> like, unless you're Joe McGuire, he's not going to like it. <laughs> Does he breeze? So screwed up running in a circle, he's forgotten what he was born to do. The horse really is cute, honestly, the way his How eyes look sometimes. Take... Charlie stops. Wow, <laughs> that looks so gorgeous. <laughs> oh, he's going so fast. Oh, wow, <laughs> look at him go. <laughs> Yeah, they, they have no idea how fast he really is, <laughs> but Tony McGuire knows. You can come inside, you know. Fine, thank you. Yeah, you look it. No, really, I'm fine. Welcome. That is a beautiful house. It's okay. Oh, I'm not that hungry. Mm, sure you're not. Actually, just so polite. <laughs> he doesn't. Oh, he doesn't want to like be in, in in position or anything on anyone. For the first time in a long time, someone cared. You were no longer alone. Oh, so he's, he, is he staying in their house while he trains with the horse? Oh, so now they're moving the cars out and bringing all the horses. That's a really cool car. <laughs> like that red taint on it. You think? Oh, no, just... Trying to calm him down a little. What'd you do? We'll take a look. Oh, when that calmed him down, having a girl horse in there, he likes her. Oh. <laughs> He's not going as fast. Oh, never mind. Oh, you got it. You got it. Oh, that's great. <laughs> okay, I guess it just needs some competition. <laughs> Your horse just broke the track record of Tamfran. 
Oh, it already broke the record. Yeah, sometimes they they just uh, hanker for a little competition. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> That's actually incredible. It already beat it. Doozy for you folks. Today we got a horse that's going off at 70 to 1, and that's a short price. 70 to 1? Oh. Dollar allowance. Yeah, talk about a jump in class. This is. Yeah, he's gonna win. <laughs> he's gonna win though. <laughs> in fact, I'll lay even money that this nag sea biscuit couldn't even finish six furlongs. This is TikTok McLaughlin Live. Oh, don't do another sound effect. Oh my. <laughs> Why this guy? <laughs> I want a maroon. They only have bright red. Oh, it looks great. <laughs> Lock in early with him and stay right off his flank. Okay. I mean, to be honest, I don't, I don't understand how much a jockey really helps a horse. I'm assuming it matters a lot, but I just don't know how. <laughs> like, I guess with them like hitting the horse in a way with the whips, it helps them go faster. But I don't think it's gonna matter much, <laughs> honestly. I so hope that he ends up winning this first race. That would be amazing. <laughs> Just put him on the map. Everyone's going to be so shocked. <laughs> oh, yes. There you go, Sea Biscuit. <laughs> Look at that. <laughs> oh, he's so close to the lead. Oh. Whoa. <laughs> Son of a bitch. Oh, the horse is even in the majority. Oh, see this, he's gonna lose. Oh. Oh, come on, come on. Oh. Yeah, you should have listened to him. Found me. What am I supposed to do? Let him get away with that? Well, yeah. When he's 40 to 1. He almost put me in the rail. Well, did he? What am I supposed to do? He cut me off. He fouled me. Son, son, what are you so mad at? I mean, everything. This whole life's been pretty sad. <laughs> like, I get why he's so angry. You know, there's even a phone Shh. next door. Oh, we'll don't call. commit suicide. Every weeks, we'll call you and we'll no. tell you where we no. are. We just gotta go home, all right? Need to borrow some money. Is he gonna go home? When we win, I can pay you back. That is, if you still want me to ride. It's like, of course I do. <laughs> yeah. Ten dollars. Yeah. That is so sweet. We're okay now. It's all right, boy. Yeah, we're okay. Look at him go. Oh, <laughs> look at him go. <laughs> Jeff Bridges is like, what? <laughs> That's actually amazing. Yeah, she won that early. I thought maybe he was just gonna win like the last race. Men who were broken only a year before suddenly felt restored, suddenly found their voice. Are they talking about just horse riding or are they talking about just like out of everyone? Been down, but he wasn't out. He may have lost a few, but he didn't let it get to him. The future is the finish line. And the biscuit is just the horse to get us there. Just the horse to get us there. Just wanna say thanks for the champagne. Don't mention it. Do you see the infield? No, not yet. Take a look. Gosh. Hey, what do you think about all those folks in the infield, Red? That's who we're riding for, bucks with a quarter in their pocket. Holy cow. Oh, that's what they meant by in the infield. Okay, so they're just covering up the whole field in between the track? <laughs> <laughs> that makes six consecutive victories for this little colt from nowhere, one shy of the record. They feed Seabiscuit two pints of ice cold beer before every race. Reporting from trackside in. 
What are they saying? <laughs> what are they saying? What? What's this? Beer from an admiring public. It's pretty good too. There's more in there. <laughs> okay. Win <laughs> 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 one more. You're gonna break the record. Here, boys. Take some horseshoes with you. You quit. I can't work like this. He's not a parade animal. He's a racehorse. This is a great horse. Born of perfect breeding, displaying perfect form, boasting a perfect record, the millionaire, Mr. Riddle, may have finally created... I, I love how she's just like, oh my god. <laughs> like, I don't like this at all. <laughs> Show tell news. Look, he's obviously the best horse in the East. We're obviously the best horse in the West. Just because we're littler doesn't mean we're scared. I feel like they're pushing Seabiscuit way too hard. I don't think he's ready for this. You hear that, Mr. Riddle? You have an appointment with destiny. A date with... <laughs> <laughs> Look, comparing these two horses is ridiculous. You wouldn't put Jack Dempsey in the ring with the middleweight. Huh? <laughs> Would you? Middleweight? They might have all that, that blue blood crap. Our money... It's just as good as this. Charlie, die. Hold your horses, hold your horses just when you thought you'd seen it all. A hundred thousand dollars for one horse race. We're about to be invaded. <laughs> this announcer's just so much. <laughs> like he's too much at times. <laughs> on, hold on. I guess that's all one horse. It's Tick Tock McLaughlin live from Clocker's Corner. <laughs> no thanks. <laughs> Wait, what? He really declined it? it. Yeah, I know what you mean. The hell with it. We'll run a minute. He's gonna go to the lead, but he can't handle the distance, so don't get sucked in. I won't. Indian broom could be there too. You gotta have some momentum built up by the time he makes his move. I guess the jockeys are really important because it seems like they control the horses like speed in a way. Well, it's kind of like track or cross country, like you don't want to burn out too fast or go too slow in the beginning. So you're gonna sit back route three wide? Yeah, that's fine. He'll tell you when he's ready. It's actually crazy how much money is put on the line too. If he loses this, like it's gonna be a huge deal. <laughs> like losing a hundred thousand dollars. Come on, watch him, watch him. Oh no, oh no, oh no. Oh no. He was flying up your tail. No, I can't. What? See out there. He can't see. He's blind in one eye. He really can't see in one eye? It's fine. Night. I'm actually so happy. I thought for sure they were gonna fire him once they revealed that. It. Red Pollard will remain Seabiscuit's jockey now and forever. Enter every race where War Admiral is on the card, and if he scratches, which he probably will, we'll enter the next race he's on the card. <laughs> oh, that's good. <laughs> oh, that's so good. I'd rather have one horse like this than a hundred War Admirals. Thanks, fellas. <laughs> That's actually just so great. They're really just gonna go face like every race that War Admiral's on, <laughs> even if he scratches. <laughs> He's probably gonna scratch a lot, honestly. I guess uh, you all are here today because this is a horse who won't give up. You either pack up and you go home or you keep fighting. Isn't that right? <laughs> That's right. Our horse is too small. Our jockey is too big. Our trainer is too old. <laughs> sea of hungry faces demanding the match of a lifetime. They have come here tonight in the cold, in the wind, in the chill of a late October night. <laughs> He's like, don't you do my noises? <laughs> oh my. Five 
but it's on my terms. And we run it here, on our home track. That's not negotiable. Hmm. Seems like a nice enough place. That's such a big, like, disadvantage you have, though. I bet that that horse is so comfortable on its own home turf. I mean, I gotta be honest when I say I don't notice that big of a difference, but I'm assuming it matters. Like the small difference there. Wow. We gotta teach him to break first. If that monster shakes loose, we'll never catch him. What, retrain him? We got two weeks. If I just brush it past his flank, He'll bowl. Just want to teach him to do it with the bell. How far do you want me to take him? It's a hundred feet. I really want to know how much that hurts, like, them when they whack them with that. <laughs> like, I'm assuming it's not that bad. I'm hoping at least. I just want him to do it once with nothing in front of him. Yeah, but I can't see out there. He can. Tom, please, wh why do you always have to do this? I mean, it, it's probably good for the horse. Come on. <laughs> Come on, you got it. Great. Wow. Oh, wow, he actually is doing good. <laughs> Just to take him for five furlongs at around a minute one. Can he do that? Should. Okay, try it again. Wait, is it? Oh, his leg. His leg. So close. Just sit tight for me. Just wait it all. <laughs> That's so sweet that we really waited that whole time for him. But we're all done. He'll always limp, but uh, looks like he's gonna walk again. <sighs> In a couple of months, you're gonna be up and around like no. I'm the one who makes up the stories, remember? I think we're gonna have to scratch. Well, don't scratch. Son, he's a great horse, but he can't run by himself. Don't scratch. Nobody rides It's okay. Him. Call him. The Iceman cometh. What a pinch hitter. Why, it's like getting Babe Ruth off the bench. Nerves of steel, ice water in his veins. War Admiral is a superior horse with superior breeding. Doesn't matter who the passenger is. That's just so sad for Red. I wanted him to be able to ride the final race so bad. He needs a good warm-up, so take him out slow. When you do ask him, don't use the whip. Just flick it twice, show him it's there. They hit him on the left side when he was a baby. I wish it was you, Johnny. Ah, oh, come on. I'll be right there with you. Okay, now. Great. Shut the door. You know how Smith wants you to fight for the lead by the first turn. You gotta give it up on the back stretch. You bring him head to head with that other horse and he looks him in the eye, there's no way he loses that race. I, I seriously do love how much he's actually helping him though. It just, it makes him feel like he's still there in a way. It's not in his feet, Georgie. It's right here. By 10 oh, a.m., the closest day. place to park was 15 blocks away. I think they ought to open up the infield so normal folks can come see the race. <laughs> you shouldn't have to be rich to enjoy yeah. something. I, I agree with him. <laughs> you should have the in, like you should be able to let people in the infield. By the time it was over, more than 40 million Americans would hear the call. Wow. Okay. Yeah. He ought to break just like we worked on. You're not the only one who knows this horse. Both the horses are now on the main track, and you can hear the roar from the crowd. 
he needs to win seriously Seabiscuit please win <laughs> like I'm, I'm hoping so bad he wins now especially with what happened to Red <laughs> I'm so happy you did that good. L listen to Red. God damn it, Johnny. He's fast. That's it. Ooh. Come on, you gotta, act gotta activate his other gear, like Red said. Do it. Do it now. So long, Charlie. Yes! <laughs> oh, that's so amazing. Oh, that is amazing. <laughs> he did it. <laughs> oh, he beat him so easily, too. Wow. Yes! Woo! Yes! <laughs> <laughs> How does it feel? Well, I just wish my good friend Red Pollard was up here today instead of me. He will be. Oh, wait, why aren't you there with the award? You should be there. He hit him on the left, didn't he? I'm so confused. What, what just happened? Something happened with his foot? Does it hurt when he bends it? Because if it doesn't hurt when he bends it, then... He needs to be there with Seabiscuit. It's like he's his closest friend. He ruptured the whole ligament. I put a splint on him just to keep him immobilized, but he's not gonna race again. But I'll put him down for you if you want me to. Please don't put him down unless he like is in so much pain, but if he just has a limp leg, then like maybe, can't you fix it? Like, <gasps> They brought it on, on. <laughs> Yeah, they're both the same now. See, first, brick by brick, my citizens. Brick by brick. <laughs> Good idea. <laughs> oh! Oh, but don't push him to ride. I don't know, Rhea. We're just gonna walk in a circle. You think the leg will hold you? At the wire! To win the Santa Anita Handicap with Red Pollard aboard! Yes! Oh, compared to last time where he was like so against taking their food. <laughs> now he's perfectly fine with it because he's close with them. Because they're basically a family. Oh. Oh, it's been seven months. Best thing to do 
is get him down there and let him gallop a little. Full work on Friday morning. Maybe six furlongs. See what we got. Sure. I'll be here. Top of the morning to you. Oh, this guy. <laughs> this uh, guy never leaves. That's a nice cold. You been here long? No, nope, just got here. Catching up on my reading. Stop the presses, stop the presses. This isn't a scoop, folks. Guess who may be shooting for the big cap? Oh, my saints alive, you guessed it. Man, oh, man, did you ever guess it? <laughs> Try and see how he feels. Oh, oh, oh. oh he doesn't want to. Yeah, it's because he wants him to ride, doesn't he? Please tell me that's what it is. That's all right. No, just, that's okay. Let, let me talk to you. Talk to me. You can't, Red. You can't do it. You could be crippled for the rest of your life. I was crippled for the rest of my life. I got better. He made me better. Hell, you made me better. And that's as much my horse as it is yours. My riding boot, fastening all the way up the calf. Right. I barely feel anything in the stirrups. If it gets re-injured, it's possible he could never walk again. Possible. He just said it was possible. It's better to break a man's leg than his heart. It's not just the leg. Okay. It's not. Mark, he could fall. He could get trampled. I mean, it's so sweet how much he cares about him. You know, I play with this thing all the time, too. Can't get that damn ball to stay in the hole. It always rolls out again. Just let him ride, Charles. Come on, he so has earned it. <laughs> like he's been waiting. I mean, trust me, I don't want him to get hurt either, but like it seems like he's not gonna stop with this. Like he needs to do this. Jump and Jehoshaphat, I can handle one comeback, but this is ridiculous. Who's not? Oh. Oh, yes. Oh, good, good, good. I wasn't sure for a second. I'm like, did he really change his mind? But good, he did. It's not bad. Let's go win us a race. Oh, to be honest, I thought Jeff Bridges was going to give him some sort of, like, inspirational speech. Relax, guys. It's gonna be fine. He's gonna be fine. <laughs> He's gonna be okay. <laughs> Who are you betting on? <laughs> Got another mount. Just because I'm not riding him doesn't mean I'm gonna sit oh. down. Don't worry. I don't stand a chance. <laughs> I'll see you at the finish. It's already acting up. Oh, oh it's already too much. Come on, boy. Come on. Come on, Pops. fixed us he still won by that huge amount <laughs> and I guess in a way we kind of fixed each other too oh is that the end Oh, okay. To be honest, I could have just watched that for another, like, 
30, 45 minutes. <laughs> I, I thought it was a lot longer to be honest. Okay, buddy, so that was the end of me watching Seabiscuit for the first time. I just have to say this movie was amazing. Seriously, the amount of emotion it just brought from such happy moments. Like normally when I cry in a movie, of course I cry in happy moments, but also just normally it's really sad. And this movie had a lot of sad moments in the beginning, but towards the end, I ended up like crying for lots of the happy moments. You know, you know when Red finally got to ride Seabiscuit at the end, that was such an emotional moment, just such a happy moment for him. He finally got to do it after such a hard like year or two years. I forget about like the time jumps, how long exactly was but it was just it was such an incredible story with red i the only thing i wish honestly is that i wish they showed his family a little bit more i assumed like at some point in the future he would have like reached out to his family again even after what they did was like terrible in a way just like kind of sending him away i get why they did it they wanted him to have a better life you know than they could provide for him but i just wish we got to see the parents like in the future in, in some way but i guess that's also not what happened in real life so i do respect that if like that's just not what happened in real life so they couldn't put it in this movie because obviously this movie is like based on a true story even though they kept switching between like you know what happened like you know actual footage of what happened during that time and like this story right here it still felt like just overall a very true story like everything felt very true to probably the source material i don't know that for sure but it seemed like they kind of did everything like by the book so i i I'm guessing that's why he did not meet up with his family later on, but I was I was just hoping for that moment. <laughs> so that's the one moment I did not really get. Everything about this movie was pretty much perfect, except for the announcer. I, I just felt like he was in it a little bit too much, and his comedy did not lay it for me, like, all the time, so I don't know. He was, he was okay. He was probably the only part of the movie, though, that I was not, like... I want to see more of you. Like everyone else, especially with uh, the wife. I'm pretty sure that was Rachel McAdams, but I, I wish we got to see a lot more of her. Like she had some development. It felt like she was very sidelined though. I just wish she got some more time to shine, like showing her relationship between her and Red. And even with her and the horses at the end when she was rushing the horse, like I feel like she had a much more integral part of the story in some sense, but they just not show it. So maybe I'm wrong on that. But besides those minor complaints, seriously, perfect movie for me. Nine and a half. I really enjoyed this movie. I'm definitely going to rewatch this a couple times. It just felt so monumental in a way. It's just such a great story. Like, like seriously, it was just, it was amazing. So thank you so much for my top tier Patreon for picking this movie and I'll see you guys next for some other surprise movies.